Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Swift to the Max and welcome back to our brand new video. So I have some pretty exciting news for you all. So this morning I received my brand new Six Sense Vega Hush Frogs. It's their brand new topwater walking frogs. I'm going to go ahead and open up the box, take a look, talk about the details, the pattern, the presentation, and the shape, and then compare it to the original Six Sense Vega frog. As you can see right here, this is the, the original. The nice popping frog, slim, uh, slim body, nice and long. It walks very well, you guys, because of the shape of the body. It walks really good. And a nice little feature from Sixth Sense. They all come with rattles for the pop, uh, uh, you know, in terms with the the original Vega frog. So yeah, you guys, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox, uh, open up the box, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Time to open the box. Just put it right down here. All right, the box is open. Let's take a look. Just gonna go ahead and pull them out. I did order about three frogs, about three of them. Let's go, let's take a look. Oh, wow. These are really nice. I do like the, the smaller, more finesse size profile. As you can see right here, this is all white, ivory white. We have Hazard, a nice black frog with yellow on the sides and, the, uh, and on the belly. I don't know if you can see the belly, but there's some nice yellow down there too. And then probably one of my all probably my all-time favorite pattern on a frog. We have a nice bluegill pattern right here. This is called Shad Spawn. You can see that from the glare. I'm gonna go ahead and, and open the packages in a second, but I do like this one a lot because you know I do love mimicking bluegills when it comes to topwater lures. And we're gonna go ahead and open each uh, package. So I started off by opening the ivory white pattern right here. Nice white profile skirts you have the nice body let's go ahead and feel let's go ahead and take a look at the get a feel of the body right there it's a nice collapse it's definitely a softer than the original vega frog which is really good and i do like how the hooks they, they have more of that you know traditional top order frog ewg style right there which is really nice i actually do already like these a lot more than um than the original vega frog hooks and you can see right there i'm just barely pushing it down it's nice and soft Really good hook penetration right there. And I do like how the hooks are sticking up as well. That's really awesome. So far, so good, Sixth Sense. Um, as you can see right there, yeah, we, have, we have the six in the top. Really cool, you guys. This is great to mimic bait fish such as shad. This is definitely gonna be, gonna be my shad type uh, walking frog right here. It's also good to throw if you're fishing in sunny conditions where it's bright. And also, all white does work pretty well in um, in cloudy conditions. In fact, in the past, when I've whenever I'd fish with topwater frogs, I you know, in fact, most of the catches on frogs were on all white. You know, it's a very good profile. Like I said, it's great for mimicking shad, and it just really sticks on the water. You know, in, in a lot of conditions, even some murky conditions too. But yeah, you guys, this is the ivory white. We're gonna go ahead and get and finish the other two. Here is hazard. Nice, all black with yellow on the sides and the belly. Let's go ahead and open. Oh, I like this a lot. There it is, everyone. Here's the top, the side, front, and the belly. This is awesome, you guys. Black frogs, black color topwater frogs are great for all conditions, especially low light conditions, dirty water, stained and murky water. Um, it's really because, you know, the bass, they can see black very well in the all with the profile. They can see the profile from from through a lot of conditions, you know, just like what I mentioned before with sunny conditions, cloudy conditions, overcast and, you know, dirty water as well. Low light conditions at night or in the morning. I do like this a lot, you guys. and I do like the yellow in the bottom. Kind of gives off that tiger stripe, you know, like the, the tiger, uh, tiger uh, stripes on the side, like a bluegill. In fact, you know, black frogs are really good for mimicking bluegills because sometimes, you know, I've caught a lot of bluegills in the past and I've seen a lot of them in the water. Whenever they're around cover, like vegetation, lily pads, and all that, they they do tend to turn, you know, a similar, you know, pretty close to a jet black, really dark, a dark purple to a black with all the shade. So. This is a, you know, so blacks, are, you know, like I said, it's also another good color to mimic bluegill because of the, you know, the colors. And then you have the tiger straps on the side as well, which is really cool. So this is definitely going to be going to be my low light, dirty water, cloudy conditions and bluegill style frog right here. Nice way to mimic a, a nice dark bait fish, a bluegill. Really cool. I like this a lot. All right, everyone. It's time for the final pattern. Right here, we have Gill Fest. 
This is a great way to mimic bluegill. I do like the presentation and the pattern, especially the pattern. Sixth Sense does a great job when it, when it comes to their designs on their lures. Um, but anyways, you guys, so like what I said before, I do like throwing bluegill pattern frogs. I do think frogs are a great way to, to mimic dying, you know, dis, uh, distressed or dying bait fish such as shad and bluegills, especially if you're throwing a popping frog. And this is definitely going to be my favorite a walking frog walking bluegill pattern frog right here great job six cents um i do want to talk about the shape in a second but if you can just take a look you have the tiger stripes in the side you have the blue nice little blue tent the silver and white belly with the orange chin just like a bluegill and a lot of the bluegills in my in my area down here in texas uh you know it's a mixed pattern you know you see like the more of like the the green pumpkin shade bluegills and then you have like the the kind of lighter shade, kind of lighter tone bluegills that have the wider belly, uh, kind of silver and purple on the top, on the sides and the top. This is definitely a great way to match those bluegill. And I do like the, the black skirts with the, with green pumpkin, mostly green pumpkin. It's a really awesome finish right there, everyone. So now that I've talked about all three patterns, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the details of the frog, such as the shape. So as you can see right here, it really does with the shape, the way it's designed right there and the top, the sides and on the bottom it has a really nice bait you know bait fish imitation the shape right there compared to any other topwater frogs walking frogs and popping frogs which is really nice i do feel like this is going to give off great action on the water i'm probably going to trim down the skirts a, just a little bit shorter make it less bulky and you know cutting the skirts down makes the frog walk a lot easier it's been proven a lot from you know many others in the past but um see so yeah, i'm going to do that later but Again, the present, the shape of the body, as you can see right there, the point where the orange is at, kind of where it creases right there. That's really cool, you guys. That's gonna give. That's like what I said. That's gonna. This is gonna give off a lot of you know great action on the on the water. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to different you know brands like Spro, different kind you know different types of frogs. So right here we have this is the Spro, the iconic Spro bronze eye frog. The pattern is called Nasty Shad. Definitely one of my all-time favorite patterns on a frog. In fact, this is my standard walking frog to mimic shad. Do you like the white on the sides and the red shin? Nice texture and feel. As you can see, the shape right there. It, it, also, it also has a nice bait fish kind of shape on the on the on the belly and the side, the way it's designed. And we're gonna compare it side to side right here. We have Spro and we have the brand new Six Sense Hush Frog. As you can see. I do like how the, the hush frog gives off a nice, smaller, more finesse profile compared to the spro frogs. And I, and I've always thought spro frogs had like you know the shape of the bodies, the shape of the bodies were you know was was always perfect. But I do feel like this one, I I do like the profile a lot more. It's slimmer, it's less bulky, and I just like the design, the way that six sense designed the frog right there. I do feel like this is going to give off better reaction. Um, it's a nice little comparison with two like two very good brands that produce that produce a, that create and produce very good topwater frogs but I do like what I said I do like six cents right here it's a nice side to side comparison right there really good you guys the original six cents Vega frog and the hush frog all white shad patterns right there white bellies that's mostly what the bass are going to see and probably a bit of the side as well depending where they're they're, depending where they're hitting on the angle but I do, yeah, I do like that a lot as you can see the original frog the brand new frog the body size they are both pretty slim although this one is more has more of a slim profile and I do like how it's shorter I do you know I kind of do wish that six cents would, would you know create and release a mini Vega frog a mini Vega popping frog you know, I do like the profile, but I feel like having like a smaller popping frog would be really cool from Six Sense, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would, you know, just buy buy those frogs left and right if they were to, if they were to do that. But anyways, y'all, um, I do like the the size. You know, again, this walking frogs walk uh, this walking frog gives off more of a smaller finesse profile, which is great, especially if you're fishing around you know finicky bass or high pressured spots. Um, it's always good to downsize in those conditions. So. I do like that a lot. I just wanted to compare the popping frog to the walking frog. Both white, shad patterns, good to go. Now, one thing that I've noticed when comparing the two frogs is that Six Sense didn't, didn't include a rattle in the walking frog and the hush frog, which is totally fine. But if you didn't already know from before, 
for all the six cents Vega Frog, original Vega Frog users, they come with rattles in the popping frog, which is really nice. I do like that a lot, especially if you're fishing around, you know, pressured spots and low light conditions, dirty water. They can track the sound as well as the profile, which is really nice. But like I said, it's totally fine that they didn't that they didn't include rattles. You really honestly don't need a rattle in your frog. You know, it's just it's it's just a good enhancement to adding more sound on the top to mimic a dying bait fish. But this is totally fine right there. It's just one detail that I've, it's just one little detail that I've noticed, which is totally fine. But you know, with the design and the shape, you know, it totally makes up for it as well. It's still an awesome frog. So now I'm going to compare the Six Sense Hush Frog to the Strike King KVD Sexy Frog. So here we have Gill Fest, and here's Strike King's Green Pumpkin Gill with the orange chin. So you can see they're both great for mimicking bluegills. Nice green pumpkin, nice natural bluegill limitation. Um, I have seen a lot of bluegills with the lighter shade, more of the silver and white bellies. And I've seen a lot of bluegills that have the darker green pumpkin, the more natural, darker look with, with the orange and yellow bellies and chin. This is definitely, this pattern is definitely good for low light conditions and dirty water. And I feel like this is good for more of like natural water and more of sunny conditions. But... I am still going to choose the the hush frog. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and compare this the size the size from side to side. Um, as you can see, the the, the striking KVD sexy frog is a little bit more bulky. It's a little more wide, not as slim as the as the hush frog. It's probably because of the arms right there. You know, uh, striking decided to feature some frog arms on their topwater walking frogs, which is really cool. But it, but it does have more of a round profile compared to the to the more finesse. Uh, slimmed down hush frog as you can see the way it's designed all the shapes I do feel like this is going to give off better action than the sexy frog but uh, I did want to compare both since I do like throwing bluegill pattern frogs these are definitely going to be my main top order walking frogs of bluegills but I'm going to go with the the gill fest for now all right everyone so before I end the video I'm going to go ahead and compare the brand new hush frog to the original vega frog one last time so, nice side to side comparison. Here's the, the original Vega Frog, Baby Bluegill, and then we have the brand new Hush Frog and Gill Fest. Both are, look very similar. You have the silver and white belly with the orange chin, the, the iconic tiger stripes with the blue paint, the blue tint on the sides. It really does stick out nice and well on the Vega Frog, nice and bright. I do like that a lot. And the green pumpkin skirts. This one has chartreuse mixed in, and this one has black. But they both have green pumpkin, which is great for bluegill. Um, if you take a nice close look, I actually just noticed this pr uh, just a few seconds ago. If you take a look, you can actually see, I don't know if you can see that, but um, there's some nice, you know, purple lighting as well. Like a nice shade of, you know, light purple right here on the sides. Right there where it at the line at the crease, which is really cool. So you have blue mixed with purple. Great way to mimic bluegill. That's awesome. But anyways, uh, to compare the size, as you can see, the, the original Vega Frog has a longer body. And this one has a more finesse profile size body. And, it, and, it, and it, it, it does look a bit slimmer as well, which is nice. And I do like how it's designed compared to the original Vega Frog. I do feel like this one's going to lock, I mean, walk a lot more, you know, a lot better than the original Vega Frog. And I just, you know, overall, I just, I prefer the finesse uh, size profile. It's really nice. Well done from Sixth Sense. You know, they did a great job with the original Vega Frog. And they definitely hit the home run with the brand new Hush Frog. I do like this frog a lot. I'm definitely going to be throwing these a lot. Probably my my main, my next uh, number one top order frogs that I'm going to be using for future videos. Um... But that's pretty much all to compare both sides right here. We have the popping frog and we have the walking frog. Both bluegill patterns. They're both good to go. All right, everyone. So that pretty much does it for today's video. Thank you so much for checking in and, and watching my review of the brand new Six Sense Hush Frog, the walking frog. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the patterns one more time. We have ivory white. Nice white profile. The mimics bait fish such as shad. I do love the way... Again, I, I love the way it's designed. It's awesome. It's going to do very well in the water. We have the black profile, Hazard. All black with the yellow tiger stripes on the belly and on the side. 
Great way to mimic a dark bluegill, especially if you're, if you're fishing in low light conditions, dirty water, and around vegetation. And the final pattern, my favorite pattern from the from the group, gill fist. Nice way to mimic a small bluegill. Presentation in the in the design, definitely top tier. I can't wait to, to throw this frog and catch bass with it, you guys. But like I said, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Go ahead and comment down below and, and subscribe for more fishing content. I'm going to go ahead and pack these up in my tackle box. I might actually tie one on in a second. But as you can see, I'm very I'm very excited that I've you know received my, my order of, uh, of hush frogs. These are really cool. The design, the presentation, the, prof the, uh, the pattern, top tier from a top tier brand such as Sixth Sense. They do make great lures from soft plastics to hard baits to topwater frogs. I've had a lot of success on all on all sorts of their baits and I can't wait to have more success with, with the brand new Hush Frog. But yeah, you guys, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.